you sent two emails and made 5,000 rand. I mean... So like when I'm launching, if like when I do like my launches, I will sometimes send eight emails in a day. A day. Now I'm not telling you to do that. No. Obviously. But what I'm saying is like, um, okay, so there's two elements to that. One is you've got 400, so um, on, like uh, a lot of times like big, big, big businesses, they will survive, they live off less than a 1% response. So if you look at your response rate, you got a 1% response. What, four out of 400? Yeah, so three, so, so just under. So you got a 1% response. Like, everyone's like, oh, my word's terrible. Like, honestly, in, my, in direct marketing campaigns, <laughs> four, if you can get 4%, you're killing it. Okay. You have to put a lot of extra work in. We've got 9%, 10% before, but like that's like, the, that's like the 25 emails over two months and the um, and they all got a letter in the post and they all got a phone call. Yeah. You see like no. they were all they were all tipped the scales for you massively but like two emails on like, to be honest like two emails three new patients like if you look at the return okay have they paid you any money? Yeah so so two have signed up for like uh, uh, six sessions so like a payment plan. Okay so work out what's six times what's six times well, how much is that worth? So it works to I think uh, two five nine two times three. So tell me the total amount of money that five those times two. the total amount of money that you got from sending two emails. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, let me show, okay, so you made, how much, five? We, we just broke up for a second, that's okay. You got me, you got me, you got me, you got me, hello. I've got you, uh, I was saying unstable, is it you or me? I think it's me. Um, uh, so tell me, you, how much was that, money? Five, one, eight, four. So then if you look at the definition of your horrendous, you sent two emails and made 5,000 rand, I mean. No, definitely, but I think I really hope that that would be like a good kickstart because from that, I don't have now, so the, the, the reason I say horrendous is, so that did very little, then I sent to the whole FitFirst database, so I waited a while, and that was 241 um, people, and from that so far, I've only had five leads, yeah. So from that, one person signed up for a prepayment plan. So again, not a horrendous in the sense that, like, I mean, probably also again close to 5,000, but now I feel like, crap. What really now? now? Okay, so a couple of things. Is, okay, the only reason I bring that lesson up is because, like, I see this so, so often in business is, like, this, um, what Dan Kennedy always talks about this, one of the biggest downfalls we have from a marketing perspective is our unreasonable expectations, our unreasonable expectations, how much, it, like, a, a cost to acquire a customer. So you got you got 10 grand's worth of business, essentially, for, for free, okay? You didn't have to spend one cent to acquire those customers. Uh, you know, I love, I hate not being able to say this phrase to British people because it, but the, there is no equivalent really for it, but good corp is decorp. Uh, you know, like the thing is like, the reason emails are free, like, and the open rates are only 20% is because they're fucking free. Um, yeah. So when you send something to the post, it's like, it's physical, it's there, I've got to look at it. And like, and then when I make the phone call, it's, it, the phone call is always like a, hey, did you get my, get, get my letter? So. I think I think if we look at don't give up on that list first of all. Okay, so just quickly on that. So like now I'm sending out my first big newsletter to like a couple of my you know, I've got like a database of now, you know, almost fifty people that I've treated. Do I include the teachers into that email? It's 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 a cost thing. So how much would it cost you to send those if you've got do you have their postal addresses? Oh uh, uh, oh, is it an email newsletter? Emails. I've got oh yeah, oh, fuck yeah. So still, still include yeah. them into that database. Yeah, absolutely. Why not? Um, out, of, out of the 491 people that I sent to, only one unsubscribed from the emails. Oh, the and, yeah, and don't be like, 
I get every single email I ever said in my entire life, someone unsubscribes. Yes, no, I'm not worried. I always yeah. wanted more to unsubscribe. Uh, so you had like... Only down my target audience. Yeah, I think... Um, no, no. So every email address you get, I just add them to the list. Like, just add them. And, and, and if you're disciplined with the emails, like once a week or whatever it is, and, and like thing, like you'll see... It's just the patience around it, uh, Jan. Like um, I went, I was in, I was in America. It is relevant. Don't worry, we've got time. I don't have a call after you. You fine. So, so um, I was in, the, I was in a conference in America with Dan Kennedy, and um, it was a specifically a marketing conference about um, about direct response marketing. And um, and one guy stood up in the audience, and Dan said, "How much did you just? Um, how much money did you just make from the deal from the newsletter?" And the guy stood up and he was like, I just made $2 million, okay? He's a, real, he's a realtor. So, he's, he, 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 so, so he, he bought a whole office block from someone uh, and, it was, and it would cash flow him $2 million uh, over a period of time. And then Dan said to him, okay, how did you get that business? And he was like, um, from a newsletter. So he's like, oh, print, physical newsletter. And he was like, yeah, print, physical newsletter. And he was like, great. And how many years have you been sending that guy who's never done business with you ever, how many years have you been sending that guy a newsletter for? 30 years no. and then Dan was like Dan said and you all think that's a lot but it's only 300 newsletters just about he's like so if I said to you now Jan I want you to send 300 newsletters and I'm going to give you 2 million you get it done before the end of the day yeah and then like and then we like we think like oh it, but it was he's like it was only 30 it was only it was only 30 newsletters it was only 300 newsletters like to get to to make if that was a reproducible formula, it just said, if for every 300 newsletters you send, I'm going to make 2 million, we'd all be billionaires. <laughs> yeah. So, so anyway, the, the, the moral of the story is like, like yeah, you sent two emails and you got a, a, a 1% response. And then, but like, it's like, it's, business is boring. It's like, it's that email list that you nurture over the next five years. And and, and also Dan called it's, it's the marching parade of interest. So the marching parade of interest. Imagine all those people on the email list are in a parade. You know, like you see in America, like there's a parade coming past. And like, and, and like the marching parade of interest is like that your, your clients that you're sending the emails to, there's some of them that have got nothing wrong with them. And then for whatever reason, the 57th email you sent, the parade comes round, i.e. they fell and slipped and hurt their back that week. Yeah. And you were just in front of them that week with the email. So, so like it's, it's, quite a, it's quite disheartening, but also very much the truth in that almost everything takes much longer than you think. And, and you've got to go, if I email this fucker once a week for the next five years, mm. is there a chance I'm going to get his business? And the reality is they're probably going to know your name. They, you, how do you even know what works? They see you at the market. Janine, how do I know you? Janine, do, uh, are, you, are you the kind, you've been sending the emails for the last three years. I mean, I've been meaning to come and see you for so long. Or there's a f book party and they're like, oh, you should go see my chiropractor. Oh, who's she? And then someone's like, oh, oh man, you know what? She's been emailing me for ages. I'm on her list. Ah, oh, damn it. But that was, the, that was the push she needed to, to actually use your custom. She needed to hear somebody else say it. So sometimes we fall in love with how we want someone to find us and do business with us, when in reality, we just have to fucking be everywhere. Hey guys, if you liked my video and you liked some of the content of that and it found it helpful for you to grow your practice, then you're going to want to check out my book. Listen, everything that I use to grow a business with eight practices that turns over close to $7 million every single year, we have over 100 team members. My business is, I'm completely non-operational in my business now because I've been able to have the systems, the marketing systems more specifically, to bring tons of new patients in the front door and we do it every single year. Last year alone, we generated over 10,000 new patients and I've written the exact strategy in here. If you want to grab a free book, go ahead and do that. We pay for the book, you just pay for the shipping and we'll send it across to you within a matter of days. Every single thing I've ever done to grow my business, my practices, is exactly in here. I give you step by step, I give you scripts, I give you the exact, bro, I give you everything you need. So click on the link, download the book as soon, quickly as possible, we'll send it across to you, all you do is pay for the shipping. Hope it's helpful.